My name is Zach and I live in my van Gertie with my dog Winter and we live full time on the road. You may have noticed that I disappeared for a few months, close to six months. I took some time for myself in winter uh, to upgrade the van, to start college again, uh, to gain a little bit of weight, which is fairly normal that time of year for most people, including myself, uh, which I've lost some of it, thankfully. So this video is actually a refilm of the intro that I originally filmed for this video. So you may notice that I'm about to gain a little bit of weight, suddenly travel to Arizona, and a few other changes are going to happen uh, to include my wardrobe and my beard a little bit. After taking that time off in Texas to relax for the winter, we are back on the road. It's been a few weeks and it feels really good to just be out here living our best life. Uh, the best thing that I did was I upgraded the van, I added water and solar, uh, which has really increased the amount of time that I can spend out in the woods before I have to go back to a city. I can spend about 10 days in the woods now uh, without running out of any resources and taking showers every single day. So a lot of upgrades have happened and I'll definitely go over them soon. Uh, but first we got to get to the video that I'm introing right now. In this video I start my yearly migration north uh, starting in Phoenix, Arizona and I'm going to start heading towards St. George, Utah where I can resupply and pick up a package that a friend of mine sent there for me. Throughout the video, I reminisce about the last 100,000 miles because I'm just about to reach that milestone and I record it to share with you in this video. So I hope you enjoy coming along on this adventure. Uh, let's get started. All right, we're back. Just went to Walmart. Got my uh, takings here, some soap, some food, just a few random things that I was running low on. Uh, kind of had me reminiscing about how big a role Walmart has played in my journey. Uh, this is not an advertisement, but I used to avoid staying here, but I would shop here. So I'd shop here almost exclusively just because I can always get the same brands. Uh, they're usually well stocked. Worst case scenario, I can stay overnight, which I rarely did at the beginning, but it made things really consistent. They have RV stuff. They have death fluid for the diesel. Uh, they have uh, my favorite bug wash at a reasonable price. So it really is kind of a no-brainer traveling around the U.S. Uh, which large big box store to use for shopping and stuff like that. I'm just going to get this stuff put away and then we'll get back on the road and get through Phoenix. Okay, now we're ready to get out of here. Phoenix is quite the jungle to get across. It's only about, uh, I think it's 2 p.m. Yeah, it's 2.14 right now which is not too bad, but give it about 45 minutes and it's gonna get really rough around here. So I'm going to run across town to the other side, get fuel there, and then we will continue on our way. I'm not a big fan of Phoenix traffic, but it's not nearly as bad as Houston. So I'm gonna get out of here and uh, I'll see you down the road. And out on our own with our hope in the clouds And we're starting to see that we're all Something, feel it coming We'll keep running Nothing in our way And we got no reason to wait Let the journey take you Where it wants to We'll continue to find our way Through anything we face We got what it takes Here we go miles <laughs> wow I feel 
feels pretty special, actually. <laughs> wow. What do you think, Winnie? 100K. 100K. <laughs> Well, this is not what I had planned, but I really need to get fuel. And I also don't really want to go too far, assuming there's fuel up ahead, so I really need to actually stop and plan. Uh, this is actually an area I can stay overnight. So I'm going to stop and plan, see how I feel, and then push on if it's appropriate. But right now, I really got to go to the bathroom <laughs> and uh, get Winnie outside so she can run because she's starting to get a little crazy. After some intense planning, I've determined that if I drive an hour further west, kind of northwest, and camp there, the wind that I'm seeing here in the Phoenix area will decrease by about 8, 9 o'clock, whereas here it's going to continue into Tuesday and tomorrow. I guess I'm just going to drive an hour. I don't have to drive the rest of the evening in the wind. It'll be about five o'clock then, so perfect time to stop, settle in, and uh, it, relax for the night, and the weather will be a little bit better, so I think it's a solid plan. We will see you down the road whenever we get somewhere, wherever we're going, okay? So we're gonna get going. Nice. The sign says 14 day camping limit. So we're good to go. Found a spot. <laughs> Perfect. I just needed a semi quiet overnight. Just off the highway is not a big deal. Oh, uh, this is perfect. But I do want to scout up this road and see if there's something better. 
but this is quite ideal. Perfect for an overnight. Uh, I don't know how noisy this road is, but it won't be that bad. It's already super windy, so I'm going to run up there and scout and then see if it's worth uh, taking you along. There you go. Let's go. Winnie, this way. So there's a better spot down there actually and it should have a nice windbreak and not be visible from the highway so how much more perfect can you get? This place is definitely going to be pinned here. Oh dirty dirty. So there's this spot right here. probably fine but it's right on top of the hill and I think probably windier than necessary so we're gonna cruise down this guy here try not to get anything injured Ooh, nice thing. oh yeah this is fantastic I might stay here a couple days Right outside of Phoenix, too. Relative terms. I think... If I just back up, I should get somewhat level. I can just hide out down here. Like outlaws. Oh, my drawer's open. Didn't even notice that. I don't know, it might not be possible to level this rig here. Um, I can use the leveling blocks, but it really, I uh, don't like them. <laughs> They're just going to get broken up a lot with these rocks. Don't the juice is worth the squeeze. Alright. We're going to go up the hill and try the top of the hill spot. That will give me max sun and starling healing. Squeaked around the bush there. Nice. So we want to back up so I'm not looking at the road. I think if I shuffle that way, it'll level out for me. Well, I got everything picked up and put away and set up and ready to go. Uh, I got my windows covered. 
I got this great view I'm going to enjoy for the night. It's actually quite windy and quite cold. Uh, too cold for my sandals, shorts, and tank top outfit today. I wanted to enjoy the really warm weather uh, before it was gone for at least a few days. And possibly longer if I decide to go higher into the mountains. But right now this is the view I get to enjoy. So it's going to get quite a bit colder here overnight. I'm looking forward to just relaxing for the evening. I'm pretty exhausted even though all I really did today was go shopping, uh, drive across Phoenix, and drive in some windy weather until I found a decent place to sleep for the night. It hasn't been all that unbelievable and exciting, but hopefully tomorrow will bring us up into the mountains and give us some good views and a fun journey as we continue on towards Utah and I hope to be there by the end of the week when the weather starts to improve for the weekend and then we'll see where we're at there. We may go to some uh, more exotic places and uh, see what we get into. 100,000 miles though. Pretty cool. Hello, good morning. It's actually not the next day. It's the day after that. I decided to take a rest here. It was super windy yesterday as well. It calmed down at night like I expected, but it picked right back up the next day. With the temperatures and the wind and the prospect of driving through windy conditions just to get to more windy conditions when I already had a pretty decent spot just didn't make any sense, so I stayed here for the day. I didn't film any of it because I was basically doing unexciting things, but there's this wash that Winnie and I have explored uh, a couple times now on our walks, and uh, we're going to take you down there. I already had my coffee. I've already prepped the van to leave. Uh, it's just down to taking her for a walk, uh, getting dressed because I'm actually not wearing pants at the moment, <laughs> and uh, getting going. Uh, but the most important thing in the morning is to get Winnie out on her walk, and that way she can get some exercise, go to the bathroom, get in a good mood, and then we can travel. I also get in a good mood, so without uh, too much more blabbing, let's get out of the van, go take a walk, and uh, get back and get out of here. Dog ready. Oh, I want to grab one thing. I found out here in the desert with a dog, a multi-tool is handy for uh, pulling out spiky things. So I always try to bring one with me just in case, because I don't want to get my hands tore up unnecessarily uh, if I don't have to. So let's uh, go out and enjoy this beautiful wash. Oh, it is a perfect day out here. Honestly, don't get those nearly as often as I'd hope, but I do my best. There she is. Beast. Winnie, come here. Come on, winter. Spaz, come on. So it's hard to tell how big these things are, but it's way above me. And this isn't even a huge one. Space is at least as big around 
as my body is, my shoulders are wide. Just absolutely covered in spines. Just keeps going. I never, uh, I don't know, for some reason I just never expected saguaros to be this impressive. So the wind in the desert is pretty crazy, which is why I try not to mess with it too much. Uh, for one, it's almost always stronger than it should be. <laughs> and uh, two, it's also, it's got a mind of its own. Uh, it'll be a day with no wind forecasted, uh, no nothing crazy going on, and then suddenly your whole camp will get blown away and then it'll be nothing again. Come on, Winnie! And that just blows my mind. And when you have it forecasted, it's almost always stronger than the forecast is calling for. So that makes it fun too. Like I knew it was gonna blow when I was coming out of Phoenix, but I didn't know it was gonna be that crazy strong. And uh, indeed it was but we still made it. I've made it through some pretty seriously bad windy conditions before. And I tend to do all right as long as I keep my head and don't go too fast. Uh, speed definitely makes problems happen faster. And that's not what I'm trying to do when I'm driving. But the winds, you can almost, when you're in a flat area with a little bit of altitude, you can actually kind of watch the winds. Bugs are rude out here. You can watch the winds kind of flow across. Uh, sometimes if you hear it suddenly ramp up, you really have to like batten down the hatches within about 10 seconds. Because that's about all the warning you get before everything gets blown away. I remember when my awning got blown up and over the van, I, I was along the Rio Grande River and I saw like this wind come up the river and then it nailed my awning. I reached out, the door was open because it was such nice weather. I reached out and tried to hold it down, but it, it blew it right up out of my hands. And then about 10 seconds later, no wind whatsoever. That's why in a few minutes you'll see why I set up my van and my camp the way I do. I almost never put my awning out. Uh, unless it's like really calm and really hot conditions uh, because the awning tends to protect one side of my van and gives me, of course, some shade to sit in.
that's it for this week. Thank you for watching. We will pick up right where we left off next week and continue my journey north. I really hate asking people to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and hit the bell. Uh, so I won't, but you should. See you next time.